Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now going to be going through a question from one of my end of topic worksheets, um, which is differentiation from P3, and it's from the Solomon L paper, um, question 3 from the Solomon A from the old C3 collection, and it's question 12 from my differentiation 2 worksheet um, from P3. So it says the curve C has the equation y equals 2 e to the power of x minus 6 lin x and passes through the point P. With x coordinate 1, find an equa equation for the tangent to C at P. So we've got to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at P. So as we know, or as we should know, if you have a curve, um, a tangent to the curve is a straight line which just brushes past the curve at a particular point without cutting through it. So at the point where it touches the curve, it shares the same gradient of the curve at that point. So the gradient of this line is the same as the gradient of this curve at that point P. So if that's the point P, we know the X coordinate is one and the Y coordinate we don't know. So to find the equation of this straight line, we need two things. We need to know a point on the line, which we know part of it. Okay, we don't know the Y coordinate of P. And we need to know the gradient of the tangent, which is the gradient of, the, of this line, which is equal to the gradient of the curve at the point P. Okay, so the gradient of the tangent is equal to the gradient of the gradient of the curve C at the point P. So if I find those two pieces of information, I'll be able to find the equation of the tangent, because uh, those are the pieces of information I need to find that. So let's first of all find the y coordinate of P. So that's pretty simple. We know that y is equal to 2 e to the power of x minus 6 lin x. So we know that at p, x is equal to 1. So the y coordinate at p is going to be 2 e to the power of 1 minus 6 times lin of 1. Now we know that lin of 1 is 0, so you're left with 2e. Okay, so the coordinates of p are 1 and 2e in exact form. Okay, so we know the we now know the coordinates of P are 1 and 2E. Okay, so now we need to find the gradient of C at P. Now to find the gradient of C at P, we need to find what dy dx is. We need to find the gradient function. dy dx, when you differentiate a function, you find its gradient function. So when you differentiate 2E to the power of X, well, it doesn't change. It just stays the same. 2E to the power of X becomes 2E to the power of X. Simple as that. And when you differentiate lin X, you get 1 over X. So this is minus 6 over Oops, minus 6 over, or 6 times 1 over x, which is 6 over x. So when you differentiate lin x, you get 1 over x. So this is 6 times 1 over x, which is 6 over lin x. That's the gradient function. So we know at p, when x equals 1, okay, dy dx is going to be equal to 2e to the power of 1 minus 6 over 1, which is 2e minus 6. So that's the gradient of the curve at the point p. So we know the gradient is... 2e minus 6 and we know that the uh, point p is 1 and 2e 1 and 2e okay so now we need to find the gradient or the equation of the tangent so we use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 the equation for a straight line so you have y minus the y coordinate y minus 2e equals m which is 2e minus 6 times x minus the x coordinate which is 1 okay so let's just expand all of that so you have that's going to be 2e times x 2e times x minus 2e minus 6x plus 6 so you have y well the minus 2e's here will cancel out if you try and bring them together so you have y is equal to um, 2e minus 6 x plus 6. You can leave the answer like that. You can write it as 2ex minus 6x plus 6. That's an exact form. I've just written in the form y equals mx plus c. All right, so we have here, this is the gradient and this is the y-intercept. You can leave it in this form. It didn't tell you how to write it. It just said find an equation. So I wrote it in this form. That's fine. I'm sure if you wrote it as y equals 2ex minus 6x plus 6, it's also perfectly fine. That's the equation for the straight line of um, for, for the tangent to C at P. There's an answer for 3 part A. 
And now for part B of this question, it says the tangent to the curve C at P meets the coordinate axes at the points Q and R. Okay, so this is the equation of the tangent that we found. It meets the coordinate axes at the point Q and R. Show that the area of triangle OQR, where O is origin, is given by 9 over 3 minus E. Okay, so it meets the coordinate axis, means it meets the x-axis and the y-axis. Now, it meets the x-axis when y equals 0, and it meets the y-axis when x equals 0. Okay, so let's start with the y-axis, because I think that's easier. Um, the the y-axis when x equals 0. Okay, so we can say when x equals 0, y is going to be 6. When x is 0, y is 6 because you have y equals 2e minus 6 times x plus 6. That's the y-intercept. So that's the point 0, 6. That's where it hits the y-axis. And it meets the x-axis when y equal, when x equals 0. When y equals 0, sorry, what I'm talking about. So we get, that's when 2e minus 6 times x plus 6 equals 0. So we can say that's when 2e minus 6 um, times x equals negative 6. And then divide both sides by 2e minus x. So you have negative 6 over 2e minus 6. Now what we can do is to make this a bit friendlier, um, we can take out the common factor here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out, to, to make it even easier, I'll take out negative 2. All right, from the denominator. So you have negative 6 over, if I take out negative 2, this will become 6 minus e inside. Okay, sorry, 3 minus e inside, not 6 minus e. 3 minus e inside, that gets, that makes it look a bit neater. So um, you're going to have here, see that this will be minus 6, and it's going to be plus 2e, exactly the same as this. They cancel out, leaving with 3 on top. So x equals 3 over 3 minus e. So that is the x-coordinate of the, um, um, you know, of the, um, you know, place where it crosses the x-axis. And I know e has got the value of 2.8 something, so therefore, this is going to be a positive value. It doesn't really matter um, if we know that, but it's just, when I'm, I'm going to make a little sketch to, to show um, the straight line. It passes through 6 on the y-axis, and it passes through the, the, the x-coordinate, 3 over 3 minus e on the x-axis. So we can work out the area of this triangle. This is the base, you can say, 3 over 3 minus e and this is the height it makes a right angle triangle so the area is a half times the base times the height that's why i'll show the area of triangle oqr so it meets the um the um p coordinate axis q and r all right it doesn't matter which one is q and r i'll just call this q and this r it doesn't tell us which one is which but it doesn't make a difference really because we'll get the same area so that's q let's say that's q that's r and we can say, therefore, the area is a half times the base, which is 3 over 3 minus e times the height, which is 6. So we can say that um, this cancels with that, leaving you with 3. So the area is going to be 3 times 3, which is 9 over 3 minus e. And I think we had to show that. Yes. So we know we're correct. So that's how we show that. Okay, just let me, let me write that neater. So that's the area of this triangle, OQR, where O is the origin. Okay, so we found where it crosses the y-axis, we found where it crosses the x-axis, and then we found the area using a half times base times height, and we got the answer that was required. And that concludes this question, which is question number um, 12 from the end of topic worksheet, and I think it was question number 3, from the Solomon paper, Solomon L. Um, thank you for watching. Other questions you might want to watch from the paper, Solomon L paper, can be found in this um, playlist over here. Other questions you might want to watch from this end of topic worksheet, differentiation two can be found in the playlist over here. And other questions about uh, differentiation in general from P3 can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my, to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.